What's up? It's Keith Kelfus, SEO, Google, marketing your business. This is very, very important. The spring is crackling here, at least in the Midwest, and um, the phone's about to be ringing. We're about to be swamped, bro. So uh, I got some tips for you. This is very, very, very important, this video. So um, I pay a lot of attention to Google algorithms. I'm obsessed with marketing and getting positive reviews is a must making sure that your Google my places for business is all filled out and you have your little own little bubble your own little red map you know uh, if you don't have that you better get it immediately and they send you a postcard in the mail so you can put in a code and then now you're a local business and get registered and verified make sure your hours of operation are filled out make sure your websites there filled out if you don't have a website make a website on Wix wix.com or WordPress Oh yeah, in this video I'm just going to kind of brain dump on you real quick and just make it quick. But um, they have this new uh, update where they'll allow you to just make a website right inside of their business platform. And it's pretty decent looking and you can make it in about an hour or less. And so check that out. But also make sure you're taking at least pictures weekly. Weekly pictures and uploading them. Encouraging cu customers to constantly give positive reviews and even take pictures and upload pictures of the work and before and after pictures into your Google uh, business platform. And then now it has an update that allows you to do video clips. This is awesome. I have a high quality video clip of like a roof my buddy Eric did that I took with a Sony camera and I said I wonder if I could upload this 20 second clip to his Google page and it uploaded now there's a high quality of like the roof I was like that's awesome so I'm gonna start doing that um, just lots of local search engine traffic as much as possible one of the other powerful things you could do is starting a blog on wordpress.org or some type of blogging platform and you could hire an article writer or do it yourself and it's just as much uh, Google friendly, uh, SERP friendly, search engine ranking page friendly stuff that you could have on Google. Another hack is to uh, start a YouTube channel and start filming short videos, cheesy videos, man. Hey, this is before we power wash the sidewalk. It's all dirty. This is after. A line in the center. What's up? I'm Joe with Joe's Window Cleaning or Landscaping or Service Business, whatever. And um, uh, we operate in this area and this is what we do. We're licensed and insured. We'd love to serve you. Boom. Put all the tags and titles in the video and just do it. And Because the more you do that stuff and the more you that stuff gets indexed in Google and you have some type of circular virality going is the more that um, it's just going to increase the chances that you'll be bumped up the search engines uh, in your local service area. But one of the most important things in the update since the Panda and Penguin and Hummingbird algorithms uh, in Google, get a book called SEO 2018 by R.L. Adams. Amazing shit, dude. But um, it's all about organic content now, organic marketing and social proof based on uh, user verified IP addresses so that means that real people are really on their cell phones that are really actually local are really going and searching for your business and leaving you positive reviews and going to your website and clicking and visiting your social media Google is also tracking what happens on social media so make sure your social media is updated for your business and um, updating with pictures and videos um, you can get into paid marketing advertising but this video is primarily about organic but um, collecting the email addresses of all your customers and rolling it into a database like MailChimp. Uh, you could try a CRM, something like a ServiceMonster.com. Uh, right now I'm using, I might get into Service Monster by Joe Kowalski, it's really badass, but right now I use uh, Google Contacts on my phone with all the information on every single customer, and then I use Google Calendar to schedule all the jobs. Then I use QuickBooks for all the billing software to send them the bill and can take online payments and stuff like that. I use the Clover app through Bank of America to collect credit cards. And then the fifth thing is MailChimp for email marketing. Now the problem with that is there are five separate platforms that don't connect to each other unless you have something like Zapier. And then you could set up an email autoresponder sequence to the customers, but you have to manually do all the shit. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Now something like a service monster, which I might do because I just want to automate my business as much as possible now. And I'm thinking about hiring a calling uh, service or a virtual receptionist to take all the phone calls and just book the jobs for us, but is also a CRM. I know I'm brain dumping on you, but a CRM like uh, customer relationship management software uh, program. So basically when the customer calls, uh, it should, in just a theory, track the call. And then you put all the information in the customer database that syncs with your Google apps. It syncs with your contacts 
light locks it in. This is the job, uh, Mrs. Jones, her name, address, you know, phone number, uh, how much the job was, notes about the job, specific things. When did you visit the property last? How long did it take? How much did you charge? What was the average, you know, purchase price? And then it puts it on a graph of how often did you serve that pro service that property? Is it overdue? Do you need to send them an email, or do you have an email auto follow? -up? email autoresponder sequence that automatically follows up with that customer is it linked up to something like send Jim radius bomb where it sends them a five round or sends them brownies automatically after you leave the job at the point now where I'm sick I want shit automated imagine if you pulled up to a customer's job and then when you left you know it automatically sent them a thank you card with brownies a few days later and then it sent them an email another few days later it said you know uh, we'll give you a discount if you refer us to your neighbors and then it also sends five rounds like radius bomb to the local neighbors and, and they might it's gonna cost you money for sure to do that shit but think about it when you really prime that pump to that well how long does that take doing that along with taking pictures and videos and doing organic search engine marketing will make you within 120 days uh, one of the most recognized companies in your entire city I've been doing this obsessively because I'm obsessed with internet marketing and I'm the top rated uh, marketed separately landscaping and top rated window cleaning business in my whole uh, I guess you could say tri-city area it's like sh townships where I live it's metropolitan area but on Google, I have the highest ratings of anybody, the most positive reviews and highest ratings. And I'm like just a small fry little company. And it's not that I'm great or anything. It's just that I really focus on search engine marketing. And it's worked out tremendously because it's got our uh, overhead. I was putting in, what was I putting? 7%, no, 6.5% of my gross annual revenue back into marketing advertising. I was spending money on various marketing services, on Google ads, um, newspaper ads, door hangers, flyers, business cards. You got to do that every and up website altogether, right? Now I've got my uh, my marketing advertising. It's getting windy. Spent for the year down to two percent. Maybe I'll bump it up to three percent this year because I want to do uh, some. Maybe I'll bump it up to 40% because I want to do some, some really nifty stuff with marketing. But yeah, I, I just brain dumped on you. There's a bunch of stuff that's what's going in my head this spring is um, finding ways to automate things. And then as far as hiring, there's the employee rock star toolkit. Craigslist and interviewing people is like fishing in the toilet. I mean, I'm really beginning to see now is uh, attracting the right people, uh, first of all. <laughs> and don't hire out of desperation, right? <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I I grew up with asthma, and I got a I'm getting over a a bronchial thing. <laughs> but um, the final thing that I wanted to say was, yeah, I won't even get into all that here. That's what I had to say about marketing. Go back and watch the video again. I also this will be converted. That's loud as hell, bro. Every time I make that video, constant distractions. Okay. Uh. I'm going to transcribe this. This will also be a podcast. Check out my podcast on Libsyn, SoundCloud, Spreaker, all the podcast platforms. I'll put a link in the description below for the podcast. And so you can listen to all my episodes, everything, uh, the talking videos. You can listen to them while you work. Come on, Nico. God, the dog paws. He wants to go in. He wants to go out. He wants to go out. Like 30, 40, 50 times a day.